Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, so for today's video, I'm gonna do a little bit of a haul. I've been gone for the last couple of days, I think for like a whole week or two total, just because life has been really busy with work and also my vacation as well. So I do wanna share with you guys though some of my recent purchases from my work trip in New York and then also my vacation in Atlanta as well. So if you guys are interested in today's video on some of these items, um, please do stay tuned tuned. And just for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as an essay. However, all the bags on my channel are from my own personal collection. I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. Also, if you guys like these kind of videos, um, please do consider liking and subscribing because all I do on my channel is just talk about handbags and stuff. So if you guys like handbags and stuff, um, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. So the first part of this haul is going to be a couple items I got during my work work trip in New York. Um, I was able to help the coach pop up in Nolita for the new Mitten Surf collection. So I was able to work that event. And in the meantime, um, I did do some purchases as well while I was there. So the first couple items are going to be these really fun hang tags. And I got these as gifts for my friends and family. Um, these are the really cute Skyline hang tags in New York. So I'm not sure if you can see very well in this one. Um, but here's like one I did in black and white and it basically is the New York skyline it says New York City there which I think is so cool and there's all these fun different colors too I was able to get done um, so there is this really fun one I like it's like a dark um, like green color with this like bright blue and there's also a blue and pink combination too so these are really cool in New York City if you ever visit you can get them done at any coach store I believe in the New York area and they'll have these really Really fun skylines. So again, I bought these as gifts to my friends and family, but these are just some fun little items um, like souvenirs and stuff. So there's that. Next is going to be a bag, and this is actually a new bag that Coach is launching for the Spring 23 collection. And this bag was um, available at the pop-up after the fashion show that happened um, last week and this is the new tabby messenger bag and the color I got this bag in is in the color natural and this is a smaller size of the two I don't specifically remember the number that this bag was but um, this is just a small one and this one's really cute so it has the tabby C logo there on the front and it has the leather covering detail too on the clasp as well and when it came to the um, buy now bags which are what they call them right after the fashion show they all will have silver hardware so you can kind of see a little bit of that silver hardware there and there as well in the little hang tag the strap on this bag is really thick and substantial it is not removable however it is adjustable and you can see the hardware detailing on it as well in the silver um hardware I won't be doing like a super in-depth like overall look of this bag just because I will be doing a separate review and first impressions here pretty shortly so stay tuned for that video but I will say overall this bag is super cute and adorable and I've had it for about a week now and I just have been really loving it so much um, my friend who is not even a big handbag person said it's a super cute bag so I feel like what she says the bag is really cute the bag itself is very cute um, and also I'm very happy that some of you guys too who are my normal clients um you know got this bag as well during the pop-up so these bags were available for purchase only at the pop-up in Nolita which I think is so cool and um I DM some of you guys and um I'm really happy to help you guys get these bags very happy we are bag twins with this little cutie and I know a lot of you guys also got the larger model of this bag as well so super excited that um I was able to help you guys get a new piece from the spring 23 collection so super excited about that so the next bag in today's video is my last handbag i bought in new york city while i was there working um i was about to leave the city and catch my flight and i had about like an hour or two to like kill so i went to the coach store in soho which was a couple blocks down and I was just like we're looking around and stuff and I was talking to the store manager and he showed me a bag they got in shipment and I loved it so much I couldn't say no to it but I had to call my friend and confirm 
if I should get it. And, you know, she is the last person to care about handbags, but she said I should get it because, one, she loved the color, and two, she really liked the style. And the bag that I purchased was this one right here, which is the Coach Courier bag in the color Cornflower, and it is in Crocodile, so it was kind of a wild purchase. Um, just because I wasn't expecting to buy a bag of this caliber, um, on my trip. And especially, you know, with one hour to spare to catch my flight back home. So I bought this bag and, you know, I was kind of shook that I bought it, but I'm really happy, um, that I did. So this is the Courier bag in the color Cornflower, like I said, and the hardware is going to be in the gunmetal or pewter and it has a little like um like hardware what was that hardware it's just like a leather plate here with a little loop that you can put the little tab through which i think is kind of cool and on the back there is a um, pocket that is magnetic there's no feet on the bottom and the strap on this bag is going to be adjustable as well so you can adjust them with these buckles or you can actually completely remove them as well. So the inside of this bag features three compartments. You have one, two, three um, sections there. You have a slip pocket that has a little press stud button. So you can kind of hear it um, snapping there and you can just um, open it like that. It's lined in fabric and then you have a zip pocket back there as well, which is also lined in fabric as you can see. And then a little story patch right there as well. So super simple layout. And then you also get a hang tag as as well which I think is really cool that it is croc as well in the front and then um the leather on the back but it is such a cool bag I will say that this bag was definitely an impulse purchase however I would say it is kind of like meant to be just because they had got their shipment in the morning and this bag was in that shipment and you know I was about to leave New York City and you know this bag was there my friend had confirmed with me that I should purchase this bag and yeah i don't have a courier style in my collection so this is a great addition i would say it is just beautiful and as you can see the details on this bag is amazing and here on the back as well and you know the whole bag itself is in this croc leather so i think it's just kind of wild um that it looks like this so yeah not much else to say, but love this one a lot. The next three items are going to be purchases I made in Atlanta. And the first item is a pair of shoes from Coach. And they are going to be these loafers right here um, in the color oak. I don't exactly know the name of these shoes, but I think they're like penny loafers or something. I have worn them once, um, but as you see, I didn't really go too far out with them just because these actually hurt my feet because I bought too small of a size. These are a nine and a half and I really should have listened to my instincts and gotten a 10. And the reason why I say that is that I feel like for me, I have very wide feet. So my feet are literally getting crushed alive in this section right here. So it's just really bad. Um, and they hurt. Like my right foot, like this foot is fine, but it's like something with this foot here, my left foot, I feel like it's just a smidge too big that it's getting like destroyed and it hurts so bad. Um, and I think I'm just going to reorder these at a size 10 and I'm going to give these to my dad. I already asked him and he really likes the look of them. And he actually, I think technically is a size like nine or like some days a 9.5. So these will fit him perfectly with a pair of like thick knitted socks, which he will wear these for sure in the winter. So I'm just gonna give these to my dad and I'm gonna reorder the exact same loafers in a size 10. Just because I do really like the look and the ones I wore them, they looked really cute. Um, but just the size is not it. So I wish I'd listened to my instincts and, you know, ordered a size 10 and just had a slight gap in the heel back here. Um, but it works out fine. My dad loves these shoes. So he has a pair of loafers and then I will reorder mine in a 10. So I will say these are super cute. These are the oak jacquard with the leather on the sides here. And the bottom is pretty cool too because it does spell out coach so you can see there are the cc's on the back so yep there's that and i bought these because i have the oak swinger which this will match really well with so there's that 
So the next item I purchased from Kate Spade is this little bag right here. And this is the Kate Spade Sam Hobo. And I just think this bag is so cute. And what really made me get this bag was number one, I saw this on my Instagram feed and I was like just going through and they have this bag in like the, I think it's like the Sam Shopper or something like that, or Sam Tote. Um, that's like more of that boxy look with two top handles. They have this bag and then this bag too. And for some reason, the shape of this bag with this little like, flap closure here really got my attention. And when I went to the Kate Spade store, it looked really good. I was just really impressed by the um, structure of this bag, the way it looked, and the different colors too. There was this one, black, white, and orange. I really wished they had made this bag in a really bright Kelly green. I think that would have been so pretty. Um, but this pink is also gorgeous as well. I will say it does land on the more like Pepto Bismol, but I do not mind it. I think it's really cute. It has these little D rings here on the side for the longer crossbody strap, which is just on the inside here. And I will say the strap on this is pretty thin, but it makes sense though, just because this is a really elegant and sophisticated looking bag so I can see why the design team would make a thinner crossbody strap. I feel like something that was just a little bit more like large and thick and chunky would look kind of you know out of place with it so I kind of get why they did a thinner strap but at least you still get a crossbody strap that is removable and adjustable and then here's a quick look at the inside as well. Pretty simple as like the layout of this bag has a little pocket fabric lining and then the Kate Spade um, tag there with a little zip pocket. Another thing too I kind of forgot to mention is that when it comes to the leather of this bag, I don't know what it's called, it's like Spalazzo or something like that, but it is super shiny so you can kind of see how like glossy it is. Like It's like literally reflecting the ring light which I think is so cool and I don't have anything in my collection that is in this like super high glossy pink so I think it's super cute. Um, it's obviously also not like the biggest bag in the world, but it is still pretty roomy, I feel like. Um, so I'm gonna do a review on this bag after I use it a little more. I'm planning on putting this in my rotation next week. Um, so yeah, once I use this bag a little more, I'll do a full in-depth review and first impressions on it. So there is that bag from Kate Spade. The last item in today's video is going to be something from Chanel, which I am honestly kind of shocked by because I never thought I would buy anything from Chanel. Walking past the Chanel store and even thinking about going into the Chanel store gives me a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress just because, I don't know, I just don't feel like I'm cool enough for Chanel. However, um, my friend helped me muster up the courage to walk in there and I was able to get something and I'm so excited and it's this adorable little card case right here in the color pink and I think this is silver hardware I have no clue I think it's like champagne or whatnot but um it has a little CC logo standard quilted look two card slots on the back card slot in the front and card slot on top made in Spain has a little cool like microchip thingy I guess right there and yeah it's just kind of a standard card case from chanel but i was just baffled by this color it is such a pretty shade of pink and of course the chanel marketing team really got me <laughs> with the little cc you know never thought i would buy anything from chanel but here it is so cute and i love it so much and i've already started using it and my goodness I just love it. I will say when I was buying this card case, I was really more so planning on buying the YSL one, um, like the standard one with the chevron design and the larger YSL logo. However, after talking to my friend Clarissa and Thomas, they really said I should just go with the Chanel one just because um, they felt like the YSL logo was kind of loud. And when I saw it in person, it was pretty loud and for some reason I loved the look of the card case like in photos and in video. However, in real life I just felt like the logo with that chevron design felt kind of like too much for how small the item is. While the Chanel one, even though it has the same like concept with like a logo plaque and like the quilted look, for some reason this feels more classic. Plus the color on this too, I really loved a lot just because it is a brighter pink while the YSL one was more of a darker fuchsia. So I didn't really care for that. And then talking to my friend Clarissa as well, she also mentioned to me about the functionality of the card cases. And she said she liked 
this a lot more. And at first I was kind of like confused. I was like, okay, they're both card cases. Like how much of a difference is there? However, I will say the YSL card case, when I was like looking at it, the card slots are so tight. And that honestly kind of surprised me how it's like stiff they were and that kind of scared me putting in cards and stuff while the Chanel one was already not like loose but like the design of this card case was already pretty forgiving so I was already able to stack two or three cards within each compartment and um the other thing too is that the YSL card case even though it has that extra card slot in the front um with how easy the Chanel one is to like put your cards in you can put like easily I could you not like five cards in this one pocket right here would I do that obviously not but if you wanted to you totally can so I just thought the Chanel one at the end of the day with the color the look and the functionality this one definitely won over the YSL one did I know why I ranted about that to you guys no but now you know and the last thing too like on the reasoning why I went in this card case is I feel like this color pink matches really well with the, the coach petunia color especially for the pillow Madison so here they are next to each other and coach I don't think made a card case in this pink color so I never got an SLG for this but I will say here they are next to each other and they look pretty cute to me and yeah so now I'm very happy I have a little card case for this pink bag and yeah I just love this color pink so much oh it's so pretty so that's it for today's video over some of my recent purchases um if you guys have any more questions about these items just leave a comment down below and I can try to help you out or you can also message me on Instagram as well and I can try to help you out that way but if you guys like today's video please do consider liking and subscribing and you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content um but other than that guys have a great rest of your day bye